Welcome to the demonstration on configuring default gateway capabilities on Ruckus ICX switches. On this switch, we are running switch code. Uh, we can tell that it's switch code based on the code name SPS, that third S in the name indicates that this is switch code. On switch code, you only have one IP address configured for the entire switch. Uh, this IP address is not used for routing or anything like that. It's used for connectivity to the switch for things like telnet, code upgrade, and for web-based management. Let's take a look at our configuration. So on our running config, uh, we only have one IP address. This is configured globally for the entire switch. That's why it's not an interface configuration context at all. And we have an IP address of 10.0.0.2. So if we wanted to configure a default gateway, uh, if we want our switch to be able to communicate with devices that are on a different subnet than we are, uh, we have to have a router and a, or default gateway that we configure to allow that to happen. So again, this is a global configuration command, so we just get into configuration mode. And we use the IP default dash gateway command. And for that, we give it an IP address, and we're going to use a 10.0.0.1. Uh, this address needs to be on the same subnet as the interface for it to be able to connect to it locally and then let that device route it out to the rest of the world. So now we have a default gateway configured, and we can look at our running config again. And here we have, again, globally, the IP address of 10.0.0.2 and our default gateway of 10.0.0.1. Now, on our router devices, uh, it's slightly different. On a router device, and this is a router device, because in the show version, we can see that we're running the SPR uh, version of code. That indicates that this is a router. And with the uh, SPR version of code, now we can configure IP addresses on interfaces. Uh, we can configure them on VLANs. We can configure them on physical inter interfaces. So let's take a look. On this device, I have a VLAN 1, and I have a router interface VE1. Now, on that interface VE1, I've assigned an IP address of 10.0.0.1. This is the same address uh, we just used a moment ago as the gateway for uh, our other switch. So on this device running router code, now we may want it to be able to reach out to others. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have here in our show IP route. And show IP route, we only have one route. That's the network that we are assigned an IP address as a member of. Uh, it's VE1, and uh, you know we're, we have connectivity within our own subnet. But if we want to get outside of our subnet, uh, we have to have a default gateway of our own. Uh, so this can be configured not with the default gateway global command, uh, but with an actual IP route, because this is a router. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to configure an IP route of 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 with the mask of 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, and then we're going to provide an IP address of the router that we're going to send traffic when we don't know where it goes. So uh, rather than send it back to our other switch, we will use 10.0.0.254. So this now says, uh, if I do not know where to forward traffic, I will forward it to 10.0.0.254 and trust that that device knows how to route me off of my local subnet. So now if we do our show IP route, we see two routes on the table, uh, our default route or default gateway route and our local subnet. So that's how we configure default gateway or default route on the two different types of code, whether switch or router code, on a Ruckus ICX device. Hope to see you again for the next demonstration.